Former House Speaker Dennis Hastert pleaded guilty Wednesday to a federal criminal charge connected to alleged hush money payments. By doing this, he is facing possible prison time, but avoiding a trial where more details of the case would become public. Here to discuss is Wall Street Journal reporter Mark Peters from our Chicago bureau. Thanks for joining us. Mark, what do we know about the details of this case so far? Uh, we know the details of the crime that ha that uh, that Mr. Hastert pled guilty to today. To today, uh, it involves um, structuring bank withdrawals in order to avoid uh, regulatory uh, reporting requirements. So basically, so people, if you report a, if, if you withdraw a certain amount of money, you have to uh, report that to certain authorities. Um, what is less clear and what we knew, know less about is why he was doing it. We know, according to the indictment and what was talked about in court today, that he was doing it uh, to pay hush money, basically, to, to pay someone who he supposedly did misconduct against. Um, but what that misconduct was has is, is come out from, uh, from sources saying that, that that has to do with um, people familiar with the matter saying it has to do with uh, potential sexual misconduct, uh, but that's not been discussed in open court. And now it, it, it will likely not be discussed in open court. Has Mr. Hastert himself met, made any statements yet? Mr. Hastert's first statement came this morning when, when I was in federal court. Uh, the judge, as part of the plea, required him to make a short statement about the crime. He talked a little bit about the technical nature of the crime and then said basically he, was, uh, he did it so people wouldn't know what he was spending the money on. Uh, mm. And then that was it. That was it. All right. Now, Mr. Hastert was the longest running GOP House Speaker when he retired from Congress in 2007. Is it safe to say this case was a surprise in Washington? Yeah, it was, it was a huge surprise. I think uh, he had a, you know, he, he didn't have a history of this, or at least there was no reporting on a history of this that, that we knew about. Um, and he had been out of the limelight for, for a number of years as well and, and was doing some lobbying work and, uh, you know, was reaching his golden years and, um, and this kind of came out of left field. And now, do we know how much jail time he potentially faces and when it is likely he will be sentenced? Yeah, we know both right now. Uh, we know he could not go to jail. We know that the prosecutors and uh, Mr. Hastert's lawyers in this case agreed to a sentencing range of zero to six months uh, and we'll know on February 29th uh, what happens. Uh, mm -hmm. The judge doesn't have to go with the agreement either, but um, that's what the two sides agreed upon and talked about in open court today, zero oh. to six months. All right. Mark Peters in Chicago, thank you so much for that. Thanks.